Okay, we're gonna be reacting to King Boo 97's Ninji Speedrun compilation. He is one of the greatest Mario Maker players that exists. He got first place on like over half of the Ninji competitions, I believe, which if you don't know what those are, basically it's like uh, Nintendo made specific Mario Maker levels that uh, would be good for speedrunning. And yeah, he pretty much crushed it, got first place on most of them. He continues to improve them. And this is a sick compilation of all of his best runs. So let's do it. Yeah, Ninja speedruns have ended. There were 20 of them. So this, he made this compilation of all his best times. Yeah, let's like check out his stats, see exactly how many first places he got. Um, he sent me a bunch of notes. I'm gonna mention some things about each level, but he sent me such crazy detailed notes that like I can't say all of it, but I'll put a link to it in the description of the YouTube video. If you wanna read all of the details, a main thing to look out for, <laughs> nine wins. Okay, so not quite half of them, but first place. Yeah, he, he did have the most first places. The best ninja speedrunner confirmed. The first one isn't too crazy. It's mostly, like the only thing you can do to go faster is how you run down and or slide down the hills. So that's the main thing they're optimizing here. It was the very first one, so I guess it wasn't too crazy. Um, but when it gets like that, it becomes a frame war where you literally like, you try and beat people by 0 .001. <laughs> so I'm sure there was a lot of that. Um, it, it was so funny in the notes for this. He's like, I did a corner boost on a block which saves one or two milliseconds. <laughs> like just absurd levels of optimization. Okay, second one, you have the Link costume. At the beginning, it's mostly about pulling bombs as soon as you can. So he's gonna pull a bomb immediately, and then after he throws it and it blows up, he's gonna pull another one immediately to blow up this spike ball faster. And then in the second room, there's gonna be, I haven't seen this by the way, I've just, from reading the notes, this is what I've gathered. There's gonna be some arrow shots somewhere in here. Yeah, I guess right there. And you have to like hold neutral on the stick to lose less speed, something like that. Now this is the only ninja that I actually played myself. So that's the only one I was kind of familiar with. Yeah, he continues to play these even though the competition's over. Okay, so this is his even faster version. <laughs> There's some, like the first one, it's like, dude, anyone can hold right and get a decent run through the level, but when it gets more complicated, like some of these you have to collect 100 coins and like there's so much opportunity for different routing and optimization there. Uh, this one is mostly just your average standard optimizations like tight jumps and stuff. But um, I do know there's some cycle you have to beat. Like a spike guy is gonna throw a spike ball and you can barely beat it if you're fast enough. Oh man, the crouch and like the tiniest wiggles to keep a damage boost and then bounce off him, that's really cool. Oh, this is just beautiful routing. What a cool stage to have to route. Down and up, that's really cool. Wait, did he, he like crouch slide? Oh, oh, that's a corner boost, okay. Right here, if you don't know what a corner boost is. I don't know if he got it or not, but uh, yeah, they try and jump into the corners as they run under them and then the wall pushes them forward and it saves like minuscule amount of time. Uh, yeah, this one is Cat Mario. There's some glitch. You do like a mid-air long jump, which is patched, but it's still in this level. Yeah, he just did a mid-air jump there, I guess. I don't <laughs> so you can't do this now, but because the glitch was present. What was this? I don't know if he does another midair thing there. It looks insane. It's like speed booster, midair jump dive. I, this looks nuts. I've never seen much cat dives plus the speed booster block. It looks crazy. Man, I mean, this this room was made perfectly for a ninja speed run, but the rest was like so complex and man, so clean. So clean, man. 
This one is a vertical level, which vertical stuff is usually like the hardest to optimize because it's not just hold right and jump and dodge stuff. It's like every jump in order to optimize it, you need to release jump on like the perfect frame. Oh, dude, look how clean they are. Like every one of those jumps upwards, he's probably doing frame perfect jump releases so that he can land and then jump as soon as possible. I've seen him upload some of these individually. Oh, he hits the goal tape. Yeah, on Mario World uh, style, if you hit the goal tape, it saves some frames. I think like 5.16 or something. No, point, point eight three, point zero eight three is what I'm, whatever. <laughs> Reading the description, he's like, I watch it and I'm like, that's flawless, can't be beaten. And then in the description, he's like, yeah, the first half wasn't very good. My my best time through the first pipe was this. And <laughs> it's crazy. Like SMB1, I know people think is crazy. It's really not because there's very little that gets in your way. The entire game is hold right. And sometimes you have to do like a pipe jump to not slow down. And that's most of the game. The only reason you can afford to do stupid flag pug glitch hard glitches is because the rest is so straightforward. Uh, this one has a bunch of claws that you swing in and you wanna grab them from like the lowest spot possible. Like you want your jump to barely get in the claw and then it gives you the most momentum forward. The jump timing out of the claw apparently doesn't matter that much. It's more about where you hit it. Yeah, well, you see how, see, look how tight he cut this, not landing on this corner so that he can, yeah, he can land as low as possible. Like, so many claws he has to optimize, man. Headgear hustle. Um, this one he, um, he makes use of called a float jump or something. It, this is present in a few different games, but after you do a wall jump, you have to hold jump. You release jump, so you start falling, but then you repress it. So you get like a floatier jump and descend slower. Okay, so this is his fully optimized version. Maybe it's that wall jump right there. Just like wall jumping frame one after coming out of the glass pipe. I wonder how fast, after you wall jump, I wonder how quickly you need to switch D-pad directions to not lose time. Balloon race, yeah, this one's the P balloon, which is like mostly straightforward, but whenever you take corners, you want to turn as gradually as possible. Oh, uh, that was interesting. This looks like a setup. Like he bonks purposefully twice and then it gives him like this frame perfect beginning. Look at it. <laughs> Literally frame perfect, man. Yeah, so. Oh, this would be really annoying to optimize. But yeah, I think he wants to turn as little as possible on each corner. And then the star makes you go a bit faster, even with the balloon. Are you guys seeing the screen tearing, by the way? <laughs> oh, you have to get those 10. Uh, you have Yoshi in this one. You need to kill a bunch of enemies. He's gonna like tongue backwards to accelerate faster, apparently. And then the rest, is yeah, he'll kill them with shells and then some I think he kills off screen. Over to the right? Yeah. So that's a cool strat. Oh, the, whoa. The bones are up there still killing them. That's cool. Whoa, there's like so much that happened right there. He has to wait on the donut. Okay, yeah, it's the piranhas that have to die. That was cool. Okay. This one has a lot of boomerang throws and also the builder suit. 
I know when you have the builder suit and you want to break blocks, do you want to jump and then swing the hammer? That's a little bit faster. I love crouch falling. That's very SMB1. That was... Dude, that... There's too much. I need slow-mo. Wait, he was so close to the bully. He's like inside it when it dies. It's crazy. So crouch jumps through there. Crouch jumps between these enemies and like long jumps to keep speed. Boomerangs these right before he hits them. Throws another one at that switch. It's just like so high octane. What? I don't even know how he got the hammers out that fast. It must feel really nice when you're right here and you hit that. Because, like, dude, you got it. You just have to long jump to the pole. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one has the big Goomba shoe. It's mostly... Oh, one frame away from record. <laughs> Dang. It's mostly a lot of, like, precise ground pounds with the shoe. And then there's some... Uh, Muncher Tower he jumped over that was like super precise. You can barely get over it and with the flying shoe. Yeah Right here, yeah That's a oh and you see his ground pound even goes sideways So all of these ground pounds are gonna be like in really optimal spots and ground pounding in this game sucks It like doesn't work half the time but yeah, he ground pounds here, and then you see he's like, when he starts the ground pound, he's like pretty much above the arrows. And then by the end of it, he's over here to the side of the arrows. Barely not hitting the wall, by the way. Like, so clean. Jumping out of the shoe like the frame hits the ground. This one, um, he d he's gonna do a strat where he does a pause and you're like okay he's pause buffering something apparently nintendo nerfed pause buffering because people were trying to use it on the ninjas like mashing pause to try and get like some perfect run so they made it so if you pause it like doesn't do inputs for the next little bit after you unpause apparently uh but he's gonna use that right here to slow him down the perfect amount it's funny they nerfed it and then he like used it so right here, if you go too fast, you're gonna run into this ball, but he slows down just the perfect amount using pause and then squeezes through there, dude. That's crazy. Wall jump, wall jump. <laughs> okay, in his post event, he did a different strat at the end. Oh, with a damage boost, okay. That makes sense. Okay, uh, this you have. This is one of the ones I mentioned where you have to get a hundred coins. Oh, and it's nighttime swim in air. That makes sense with the frog, actually. This would, yeah. <laughs> so many different games you're playing to do all of the ninja events, man. Um, I know, dude. Between those boo rings is so nuts. Is just so satisfying, like right between the rings and then over here throws the pow right as they come down he grabs them and goes up it was just so satisfying and then the last three fall right on him dude it's so perfect oh it's so beautiful <laughs> Okay, so in this level, near the star, like right after he gets the star, there's gonna be a jump that's like frame perfect, and he needs to do as small of a jump as possible in order to make it. Here's the star. Oh yeah, it's that jump right there. I'll do it frame by frame after the whole thing. This is so fast. Man, that was... Oh, dude, the sick, like, sub-20. In order to go from this cloud over to this coin block and he's gonna bump on his head above him like you can see he's already here and then he jumps like he's off the thing that's how precise this is and you have to do as small of a jump as you can so that you hit this slightly later from jumping really small and then he lands here 
oh, look how tiny, or, or not tiny, I don't know. Look how tight it is. I don't know what it is. Frame perfect tricks, like not all frame perfect tricks are created equal. Some are so much harder and mostly like depending on how fast you're moving. Like there's a this moat skip trick in Super Metroid that is frame perfect and it's way harder than frame perfect jumps in SMB1. Okay, yeah, this cannon block one. I've seen this one before and it it just gets so nuts. Frame perfect. And like cutting the corner into the pipe so tight too. Uh, a lot of times you want to shoot twice really quickly, but there's a cooldown in between. So if you try and shoot too fast, it won't come out. I love that shot. That's my favorite part of this level. It's really creative. You're waiting on this POW, but you cheese it by opening it up. Okay, uh, th these enemies are called Goombuds, I guess, and yeah, we're doing a lot of ice block melting. I think there's a clown car somewhere in here you have to ride. Yeah, optimizing, <laughs> optimizing all these fireball shots. Whoa! That thwomp boost was so sick. Whoa, and... Oh, dude, he bounces off the... That was so cool, dude. Oh, the last three. Mm, that might that might be my favorite. I love that one. Dude, this push right here. Oh, it's so satisfying. And then right onto the, the music note blocks. And upwards. That's so cool looking. And then, wait for it. The... The turnaround, like, bump off of this guy. I, I think he's doing that, like, back tongue thing, but shooting a fireball instead. But it looks like he just accelerates so fast that I'm really not sure. That one was sick. <laughs> Even the last three shots are just so cool. <laughs> Lining up with the music. <laughs> da -da -da, one, two, three. Okay, 17, you have the SMB2 mushroom. I think there's a bunch of snowballs. And then there's one snowball throwing dude that's random in here, but uh, he does like consistent movement to kind of manipulate it. I'm not sure which one that is though. <laughs> it's probably clearer in the notes. Whoa, that, whoa. I have to see that again. This snowball boost was so cool. Yeah, definitely go read all of his notes because he, he wrote a lot of detail. I just, without watching it, couldn't even like fully understand, but even even watching it, <laughs> there's there's a lot, of, a lot of detail he wrote up. What? I was I thought the first snowball was sick. I was like, okay, another snowball boost. No, into another one. That was so much speed. I've never seen that much speed in Mario Maker. What the heck? <laughs> he like BLJ'd on these snowballs. What the heck, man? Can you do three? How how far does that go if there's no flagpole to catch you? Okay, next. My mouse. How long has my mouse been on screen? Oh no. There's a bunch of booze and cheap cheeps. And uh, there's some trick with a thwomp where it like pushes you and then you bounce off a shell afterwards. And you need like a specific input sequence to make it work, I don't know. Oh, that was really cool. Yeah, sideways ground pound again. Right here, is this the thwomp thing? Yeah, okay. We've seen some thwomp boosts before, but I guess it's like more complex use doing it with the dry bone shell. Cape Mario Master. This one obviously has the cape. 
which uh, flying speed is faster than walking speed or running speed, so he's gonna fly as much as possible. And another hundred coin. We know how great those are. A lot of routing opportunity with those. <laughs> Rip cape. Not rip cape. Is this dragon force? <laughs> I'm gonna get copyright claimed. This is not dragon force. <laughs> This one has a lot of, like, items and probably the most complex one it sounded like. Just, like, the number of items listed in the notes. It's like, yeah, we had to fireball some ice blocks. We had to go in some claws. We had to crouch on some stuff. We have conveyor belts. We got to do some ground pounds. We got to get a star. We got to bounce off some springs. What the heck? There's so many things. Is that the only way through the level? Jeez, that was insane looking. Get wrecked, Bowser. We did it. Insane ninja speedrun compilation. Okay, there you have it. Dude, check out King Boo 97. Oh, this is cool. He lists, uh,. World record of each event and winners. Oh, number one and number nine he had, so he killed it in the back half, it sounds like. Yeah, destroyed the back half. Sick. So, pretty much him, <laughs> me, and you <laughs> are like two of the best players, as well as Lil Curbs, Big Birdo, the entire country of Norway. Dude, check out King Boo 97 sick speedrunner. He's also, he's just insane at like everything he touches. He has a ton of IL records in Mario 3D World, Mario 3D Land, uh, full game speedruns. Check him out, peace out. <laughs>